<laughs> Timing is perfect. Right. Welcome back to another episode of Collection Wars, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us again on your Saturday night. Uh, we have a special show for them today, right, Michael? Man, Gabe, it seems like we have a special show every Saturday, right? Man, it's so good to see you again, Gabe, dude. I, I can't wait, wait for our Saturdays or our pre-recordings because, you know, hanging out with you and, and our guests, you know, I love every minute of it. It's, so. And there's so much good stuff coming down the pipes. We got <laughs> It's unbelievable. We yeah. got some great shows lined up the next couple weeks as well. And we have something actually – very special coming up as well, right? Yes, absolutely. Can you talk about it? Why not? I mean, that's that's what we're, we're all we're yeah. all family here, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Let me actually. Let, let me. How is this? Let me. <laughs> yeah, here. What's up? Let me show. Let me show them this. Let me. Sh let me okay. show. Let me post this really quick, and then. Oh, we'll he's doing it. Our two chill out. Sorry, guys. He's. You know, R2 gets R2 gets excited and it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. You know, it's just kidding. Don't get off the it happens. So I wanna let me let me show you guys something really quick here. Yeah. So we have a very special um thing that's gonna be happening, and let me show you a little a little risk something you see there. Um, you know. We may have bought some uh, Disneyland tickets for Galaxy's Edge, and we got a, a few of uh, of the buddies going. So, looks like uh, at the end of the month, right, Michael? We're going to be meeting. Yes. Me and Michael for the first time. Yes, it's so crazy. Galaxy's Edge, and it's going to be Michael, Lee, Joseph, Sean, David. It's going to be a blast. So. I'm excited. I am. You know what, Gabe? I was talking to my to Denise this morning, and she was saying to me, she's like, you know, it's really cool that you guys are. It's going to be just the guys, and we're getting out. We're going to go hang out at the Falcon and do all that fun stuff. But most importantly, what this channel has brought to Gabe and I, which is friendships, yeah. and there's that's what this is all about is the the collecting and the friendships, and it's yeah. crazy because. When you're so geeked out and you've got all these friends that you've met all around the, the world, really, you know, and then finally we're going to get to meet up with a lot of them that are our real close friends that, you know, we didn't know exist before Collection Wars. And Gabe, I'm so blessed to have you as my sidekick on this show. And, yeah. you know, we're growing. This channel's growing in six months. Just having yeah. such a blast. The industry guests that we're having, these people that are coming on, like we're going to have Yens tonight that we're going to get ready to get into. You know, it's just such a blast. And hey, by the way, what do you think? Smelter droid. I that work looks... my ass off on this guy. And here yeah. he is, man. Super oh. cool. Art, do you like him? <laughs> what? <laughs> Michael. They, they, they get jealous that, that the droids is a yeah. So just just really quick. I mean, look, like, we got we got the the crew all in the house. We got Guillermo up. I, I call you Guillermo because you know that's that's got to do it. <laughs> we yeah. Got Dark Knight Archives. We got Joseph. We got Harry. We got Pete in the house. What's up, guys? Scott, uh, Aqua. Hey, from Germany. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. I know it's Absolutely. it's really early in the morning over there, and I again, when we bring our guests on, I we need to give them a, a round of applause because it's like four in the morning over there. So yeah, uh, yeah. we got the collector, Graham, uh, even the collector. I just saw he got an awesome tattoo. Uh, <laughs> really cool one. Yeah. Uh, we got David up in the house. We got Sean. We got Ken. We got Scott. We got Justin, Left Coast Graphics. Lee, what's up, what's Lee? Lee? Man, it's 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 a full house tonight. I, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be fun. So yeah. let's, Michael. Let's let's bring on Jens. Yeah, let's right? do it, man. Super so, cool dude. Jens from Legacy Art. Let's bring him on. What's hey. up, guys? <laughs> How are you, man? Thank you for joining us. I know yeah, it's thanks for having me on the show, man. Yeah. No, we were so excited to to hear that you 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 know you agreed to jump on. And again, the time difference, I get it. And again. Thank you so much for, for making some time for us. 
You're welcome. Thank you. So yeah. either you, you, you've been up all night. I don't see any bags under the eyes, Jens. So no. you're either an early bird, bro, or you've been all, up all night and you're going to crash right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you woke. Have you? Is this is this morning for you, or are you just late night? It's it's late night. It's late. Oh, night. okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll. So we'll be respectful. Don't worry. We, we won't. It won't be a three hour show. <laughs> like two and a half, time. maybe two and a half. No maybe more. two hours. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll keep it short. Um. So yes, yeah. So let's let's jump into it. what what sparked your passion for Star Wars, just in general, like you yeah, know, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, it's my passion. I love Star Wars since my childhood. And uh, yeah, I love doing art. I love creating stuff. And uh, yeah, I remember watching the movies as a kid with my grandmother. And I was always uh, fascinated of the look of Star Wars, this used old look, this dirty look. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's really my passion. And yeah, I love it. I'm a fan and collector. Awesome. So what kind of stuff do you collect? I mean, obviously. Yeah, I, start, I start collecting uh, about 10 years ago, and I started with the 3.75 inch figures. Okay. And later on, I um, collected the six inch figures, and now I'm in the six scale. Got it. All right. So you're you're moving up. <laughs> you're moving up in. Yeah, they don't have third scale, or we'd be in the third scale pretty soon. You know. I know you're going to be in quarter and then one third yeah. and then life size. Man, that's it's really a, cool. That's really yeah, cool. man. So Jens, what what was your first kind of um, like Star Wars movie memory? Like which which movie were you yeah. kind of most into? Yeah. When you're a kid. My, my memory is uh, and you hope okay. and. It's also my favorite movie because that's where it's all started on Tatooine. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so fascinated. I, I love Tatooine. I love Mos Eisley. I love the buildings. And uh, I love all this weathering style. And uh, yeah, the scene uh, which I remember when I was a child is uh, when Luke was attacked by the sand people. Yeah. That, yeah, that's the scene uh, what I remember. And uh, I also loved the Battle of Endor when I was a child. Okay. Yeah. That was also when when they were fighting the Ewoks. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> hey, Jens, Jens, how old are you, by the way? I'm uh, 35. Okay. Wow. So Star Wars New Hope being your first, your favorite film. I don't know if it was actually yeah. your first film that you saw, but the fact that it's your favorite, that's really yeah. cool, man. That, that, says, yeah. that says a lot. Yeah. It, it, it does. Yeah. And we, we talk about that a lot. You know, it's, it's always a generational thing. Um, you know, I, so my, my first memory was return, I mean, return of the Jedi. Yeah. So for me, that's kind of my, my favorite, but yeah, that's interesting that, that a new hope for you and you, you like the desert, you like the, the dirty grungy, yeah, you know, that's, look, that's, that's cool. That's my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual thing. You can say that. I love your background, bro. It's like, I know. damn it, man. Another show that's going to cost me and a lot of the viewers money. You know, it's like, oh, <laughs> I so, so speaking of, so again, what, what got you into, into making models and dioramas and stuff like that? Yeah. I, I always, yeah, I loved uh, when I was a child, I loved playing with my toys and uh, even when I was a child, I created some landscape with the stuff which I had. And yeah, later on, when I started uh, collecting the figures, I thought, man, these figures are so awesome, uh, but you don't have any uh, buildings for them. And I thought, yeah, man, you should, you should, you should create some, 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 some dioramas. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was searching in the internet for dioramas, and my inspiration was a guy from UK and he made these small dioramas for 3.75 inch figures and I get in touch with him and we chat and uh, so this guy he was my inspiration and after the convention in Germany we had the Star Wars celebration after that I started making my own dioramas and uh, the first big project which i did was the cantina in 3.75 inch yeah yeah 
Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. you know, Michael, Michael's a big fan of dioramas. He yeah. loves dioramas. Yeah, I absolutely am. Thanks for bringing that up, Gabe. Yeah. So, you know, it's one thing to get into building dioramas and there's so many people that have what it takes to do it, but yet there's a lot of people that don't, you know, and for somebody like you to, to be a, you know, an enthusiast and then to get into, you know, building your own and kind of learning, you know, the paint and, and the mm -hmm. weathering techniques and everything that you've done. It's absolutely stunning. You would never know, you know, I mean, it's, it's very professional and, and how you, I mean, it. yeah, it's crazy. Cause I, I remember seeing a couple of your posts on YouTube yeah. and then I was like, Holy crap. Cause you know, you can have the six scale figure, but having, and I've said this in some of my personal videos, you know, having the diorama around it just takes your, whatever that may be, if it's a figure, it takes it to a whole new level. And man, I can just stare into my yeah. dioramas forever, you know? Yeah. yeah. I love bringing the figures to life. Yeah. And that it does that. And it's mm -hmm. funny because we had our boy, Matt, I call him Matt Arnold. Um, yeah, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. He really is, you know, and, and, uh, we talked a lot about, you know, your stuff and that I know he's a fan of yours as well. And he's purchased a few of your items and whatnot. And just seeing that, I'm like, man, we got to have this guy on. And, you know, can you, so can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you're doing now um, when yeah. it comes to legacy arts? Are you, is it, are you, are you building these things and then selling them? Or are you taking in commissions yeah, I, as they come? Yeah. Uh, first I did this in my free time. Yep. I'm doing this for uh, eight years now. Oh, wow. And uh, since last year, I start doing this in full time. Okay. Good for you, brother. Started with uh, with the Outpost One Museum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the first time I went to the Outpost was uh, last year in January. Yeah. And they have an awesome uh, life size exhibition. It's yep. really amazing what they did. And uh, I showed them some of my uh, pictures of my dioramas. Okay. And uh, they were impressed. And to that time, I only did the dioramas for the 3.75 and the six inch figures. And they asked me, man, could you also do six scale? And wow. I said, sure, why not? Yeah. Wow. And uh, they, they took my contact details and Six months later, they gave me a call and said, hey, man, would you like to build a cantina six scale? Oh. I say, yes, let's do it, man. <laughs> so let me, I want to show that. I want to show a little trailer uh, for some of the work you did with um, with uh, Outpost really quick, if you guys don't mind. Yeah, and before, hey, real quick, Gabe, yeah. before, right before you hit that. Yeah. So we, we Gabe and I have brought this up a, a little bit in the past. So. Outpost is like on a whole other level of like on the collecting side of, of gallery. So they have come in and bought a pretty much a, a bunch of acreage with that has buildings on them and they've completely revamped these buildings. Am I right, Jens? Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. yep. And I guess what the, the, what these guys are doing and we can get let Jens talk about it a little bit later on in the show, but mm -hmm. this Outpost one has created the, not just the life size, um, dioramas i mean we're talking life-size snow speeders life-size tanks from rogue one crazy, crazy, crazy. yeah it's crazy stuff and then they've got an exhibit with nothing but six scale a whole section of building you yeah, know just on six scale and then here we go let's take and that's what you worked on right jens on the six scale side of it yeah right? okay let me let me play it really quick for everybody to to see it it's amazing and i'm gonna Actually, I'll, I'll leave us. I'll leave us on. It didn't make a big difference in size.
RPM. There you go, Lee. Mm -hmm. Wir reisen in eine weit entfernte Galaxie. Outpost One. That is so cool. So you. You got to work with them on some of these awesome pieces, right? Yeah, it's crazy, man. So let's... It's, it's a unique place. It's a unique place. Yeah. And with, oh, sorry. That's me. I forgot to stop it. <laughs> um, so you, what did you work on specifically on this one, on that, for, for them? So I didn't work on the life size. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working on the six scale hall. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, in progress. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the first thing which we started was the cantina. <clears throat> and now we did some other buildings and uh, yeah, we're making Moss Isley in six scale. That's crazy. So yeah. let yeah. me, I have some pictures of that, that you shared with us. Um, maybe you could walk us through kind of what, what we see. And I know a lot of it is your work that you offer to, to clients right and people could buy some of these off right and commission them from you people can buy it and often people come to me and they gave me their ideas and yeah i'm, I'm, I'm bringing their ideas to life and also i involve them in the building process yeah. and also share with them all the steps in the making till the diorama is finished and uh, oh. They're always satisfied and they, they come back every time. Absolutely. I've That's seen some of these pictures and it's whoo. Yeah, thank you. And I'll tell you what, when, when somebody spends money and they're getting something commissioned, shazam. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. Better than getting updates and pictures of, yeah. of the work that's being done. I get that with my studio scale models. Bad ass, bro. That's all Look I got. That. That thing is unbelievable. Look how that, huge that shit is, dude. That is unbelievable. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's huge. And yeah, it was also a challenge making this. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. So can you can you kind of walk us through what are some of the materials you use? Are is it like the, the main material uh, which we use is foam? Okay. It's solid yeah. foam. Yeah. And then it's you call it a speckle okay yeah then we make all this this texture in the walls yeah. and the painting is with acrylic acrylic mm -hmm. and you know we have uh, lots of electronics in there so so the the main the main material what we use is foam yeah. beautiful yeah that. and the guy next to me yeah. it's my father-in-law oh very cool yeah. His name is Ali, and he is 79 years old. Good for him. And we started this thing together eight years ago. Oh, good, man. So it's a family thing. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. It's a family family business. Good. And we're doing this stuff together, and we enjoy it, and we share, we share the passion in creating this stuff. And yeah. You have to have a good size shop when you start doing it. Yeah. create those i love that man yeah. he has men's craft you know yeah yeah the details of some of the like the lights that you've got inside yeah. they walk in the when hey no droids are allowed in here yeah, yeah. Blue, i mean the details it's amazing droid detector yes and yeah. you and you get the right i mean look at you you're 
you're getting it spot on. Like you're getting the signs. Yeah. And you're right. Like I see the little, the little droid detector right there. I never knew that was called a droid detector. Or I don't know what, I don't know what it really is, but that's what I always called it. The droid scanner. Yeah. The droid yeah scanner. That's badass. <laughs> that, yeah, is so cool. that day uh, we had Femi Taylor. She is next to me. Oh, okay. And, uh, um, you know, Graham Scott, he did a lot of stuff for the outpost. Oh. One exhibition, and they made a life-size figure from Pimmy Taylor, oh. and she came to um, yeah to visit yeah visit her life-size figure, and then yeah you know, we showed her um, the cantina, and yeah she was very impressed. Oh, that's great, man! A good time, yeah. That look at look at that cantina. Yeah. Look at that's, the detail in it. Yeah, you can. That's when you see it from the inside. That's very cool. The way so you can. So when you walk around the exhibit, you yes. can look down and see the details within the, the exhibit, correct? Exactly. Yeah, you have the chance to look inside. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Seeing the six scale stuff, I, I talk to a lot of my buddies, my collector buddies that are that are you know are on the show frequently and whatnot about some of our future builds and what we want to do in the gallery and expansions, and we talk about life size versus six scale. I don't know what it is, but six scale is just so I've always liked little, like, you know, army, you know, dioramas. And that's why I did, you know, some of the, the Dagaba and the sand crawler and, and whatnot. But being able to look at the, the smaller dioramas and whatnot, I just, I love seeing that stuff. You know, it's with the details in there and whatnot. Six scale, it's a, per, it's a perfect scale. It's yep. not too small. It's not too big. It's, it's just right. right. Yeah. Yep. yep. So what do you got here? We got... Oh, we're, so the yeah. interiors. Alcova. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can also buy this uh, on my website. Okay, cool. So this is one of the, and we'll, we'll actually look through your website in a little bit to, to show yeah. everybody all the stuff you can get. But yes. look at, I, I love it. I love the little light. I mean, because these are, these have mm. to be like these right are tiny little lights. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of details, yeah. That is beautiful. So do these, if, if you don't mind me asking, Jens, so like th that, what you're showing right there, which I just, I'm definitely, I'm on board. We, we'll talk after the show. So <laughs> the table and the chairs, is that sideshow or is that Jens? It's uh, 3D printed. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's all I need to know. And painted, yeah. So that all comes with the diorama. You get yeah. the props mm -hmm. with it. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. I love that. Yeah, and that's a smaller version of the Cantina Alcove, which you can display in IKEA Detolf display. Oh, yeah. so it fits perfectly in one of yeah. in one of these details. Yeah. Many many people they don't have much space, so yes. I give them the chance to have this also. Yeah, that's that's yeah. not only smart but very very considerate of you because you're right. A lot yeah. of the six scale collectors rely on those on those yeah. uh details like that's that's the go-to for for one six collectors yes that, that's amazing yeah we had a few uh, viewers that commented I, I love the dioramas it's just the space and that's what's really cool is you, you, you for the viewers out there that love six scale you know you could come up with whatever theme that you want as a background like a building or whatever and then just create that one little environment which is all you need in that space, you know, which yeah. is terrific. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, the comments are blowing up right now, and I would be, I, if I wasn't trying to be respectful with your time, I would be putting up all those, but if one comes up, Michael, you need me to put up, let me know. I will, I sure will, I sure will. So here's the Greedo. Man, yeah, these cantina scenes are, man, awesome. And then, and then the colors, like the colors, Yen, yeah. the, the 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 light the slight like blues and the and the reds are I guess it looks almost pink. I, yeah. I mean, that's what the cantina had, I re I recognize all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. beautiful. I mean, it's perfect. The weathering is perfect. I mean, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So here's a an exterior Mando scene. Mm -hmm. Look at the poster. I mean, look at that, guys. Yeah. The detail to that, that there's a little poster on there with the I, not, it's not IG88, I'm sure, right? It's, I'm sure it's the IG11 or what's his name? Yes. Yeah, look at it. Dismantle on site, 20,000. That's so cool. And that, that attention to detail, I think, is what 
all, I mean, obviously your, your, your dioramas are impressive regardless, yeah. but those little details, I mean, just take it to another level. Really. Yeah. I, I, I pay a lot of attention to, to these details. Yeah, yeah, that shows it shows very much. Yeah, in that's this. what it makes unique. Yeah, I mean, look at you got the the Mando skull up here, right? Like the the Mandalorian or the Mythosaur skull, right? Right yeah. here. That's so cool. Oh, and even a wanted poster, and it's and yeah. it looks like it's 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 from the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. That is cool. <laughs> hey, you, you know what, what blows my mind, and I don't know if it's because it's over in Europe you know, area on that side of the world. But I find it not that I'm not saying that it is, but it seems like, for example, the gentleman that's that's putting together Outpost One. And by the way, if he's watching tonight or if he's going to be watching the recording, I want to give my hats off to you, bro, because what I've done has not been easy. And what you're doing is on a whole other level. And I, and I and so many Star Wars fans out there respect you so much for what you're doing. But what my question is, is like, how he finds all of the people like to create the, the life casts of the face and the people like you Yins that are so talented. He's so lucky to know, like if I knew that you were only an hour and a half away, <laughs> dude, you'd, be, you'd be working for me full time. You know? <laughs> so so I, I, I don't know how, how, what it is, but it just seems like over in Europe that you, you, things come about a lot easier when it comes to this type of stuff. Yeah. It's I like a closer it's, community. I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, is that the case, Jan? Yes, the the community is yes, it's mm -hmm. it's closer. Yeah, okay. it's crazy because it's like George Lucas went over there to be on the down low, right? And, and mm -hmm. it was cheaper and did all his productions and whatever over there. And it's well, that's where everything's found, you know, because everybody knows if you're going to find like original stuff, a lot of it's coming from Europe. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it was all done, right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's so beautiful. Cool. Look at this one. I love that. This is probably one of my favorite kind of like images yeah. from the Mandalorian. I love those those stormtrooper helmets on the spikes. On spikes, yeah. And so that's how a you, doable yeah. diorama, right, Gabe? That's doable for any person out there that just wants to have something around there. And and that's a perp. I think for, for me that's perfect too. Because mm -hmm. um, is that only like a, a like an L shape? Like, is it only two walls or is it's, it three? Yeah, like you said, an L shape. Okay. And it, it fits also inside the IKEA Detour showcase. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so imagine that. Like, imagine having that on one of your detox perfectly displayed. It shows, showcases the figure. And look at how, how awesome those, those stormtroopers look. Beautiful. I love it. So we got, oh, we got another one here. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Oh. Those are challenges. It's neat how you create the little boxes and, and whatnot. That's badass. Love Thank it. You. Yeah. So, so Jens, is all, all the little accessories and all that, are you mostly, you're saying you're 3D printing most of them? But yeah. yeah okay. So none of them are casted already like in resin or something yeah. to make And uh, I'm working with a 3D designer. Mm -hmm from New York and he's he's a very cool guy. He's very talented and his name is Edson and he goes by the name of uh, Figureworks. Okay. Um, now, I think I've, I've heard of him actually. Yeah, and uh, he's very talented and you know, he, he, he did a lot of this 3D design for me, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because like... Uh, well, for example, the door, you see? Yeah. Uh, Look how cool that is. And again, like, look at just the little, <laughs> these little detail like this, that little pad. Yeah. I mean, just to get <laughs> that little light right there. Like, do you? Yeah. Know, very they, tiny, very tiny. Yeah. yeah. Are they LEDs or are you using fiber optics or it just depends on? Yeah, it's it's uh, LEDs, yeah. LEDs. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So do these normally, so on the back, I would assume there's like a little battery pack, a little on and off button. Yeah, that's battery operated, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it, okay. Beautiful. Here's a close-up shot. Yeah, because like even this, like look at that that lamp right there. Like it's now are this something like that? Is that out of the show, or is this something like you guys kind of work together to conceptualize? No, I, these lights were seen in the show. Okay, so everything is everything. Yeah, screen accurate. Okay, screen accurate. Yeah. 
beautiful. Mm. Look at that. Here's another one. All right? Is it the oh I have it also here in my bag? Let me see. Okay, yeah, I love seeing that. We gotta look, you gotta let us see that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You gotta let us see that stuff, bro. I, I mean, I gotta. I know. Oh my gosh, I love the job of that. Well, we're we're getting we got we got I, some. I know, dude. I'm just, but look at that. Yeah, look you at know, the, he's got the droid thing box right there. I know. Holy crap, dude! Start on mine, bros. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> get started, chief. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, Jens. Dude, I wonder, Denise. I hope you're watching tonight. Does she? With her body, <laughs> she loves like the little plates. Look at the, that! Oh my gosh, dude. Very cool, huh? Yeah, yes. very cool. I I almost just want that by itself, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Like that's such a cool thing. Yeah, and from um, a distance, you don't see the actual lights in there, dude. It's so bad. Yeah. Well, what I was gonna say is, you know, looking at let me, I'll, I'll I'll come back, I'll come back to these pictures, but looking at the the diorama behind you, I mm -hmm. and I don't know if this is something maybe you're already working on, but you know, a lot of people picked up that sideshow raincore. All which right, is pretty, let, me, let me. Which is pretty close to one six scale. All I'm saying is that imagine having that top. The cave. One. A cave. Yeah. The cave. I'm, all right, it's it's on. I'm, I'm I'm telling you right now, Gabe. It's official, guys. I want the Jabba on the top, and I want the cave underneath it. I want that, Jens. Okay. You got I, it. <laughs> I want that, and I, I will build a special deal for the six scale. And I swear to you. It's gonna be badass. I, I, I. That's what I want to do. With I, a little bit of downlighting on him. You know what I mean? Awesome. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be an honor, man. I, would, right. I promise you, if you put that out where you did a top and a bottom, yeah. just from our watchers alone, I yeah. guarantee you're gonna get so many <laughs> orders. Maybe oh. we should do. Maybe we should do a collection where exclusive of that one. I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're <laughs> such a cool dude, Jens. You're a good. Yeah. Man. Gentlemen, you too, yeah. man. So yeah. Let's check. Yeah, let's keep let's keep on going because you have so look at that. Look, look at that, that. Look at that dude. Ugh, I love that. Yeah. So is that a three D print, Jens, or did you make that? It's uh, yeah. Um, that was designed for me, and I printed it and painted it. Did the, all the weathering and yeah, yeah, beautiful. And, and and you know what's so cool? You know. I'm going to tell you, 3D printing has come a long way. So for all the viewers and whatnot that are watching us right now, 8D8 here is a 3D print. And there's so many different type of 3D printer scanners out there that some of them can print that have – hey, Gabe, hit me on full screen real quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's hit you on full screen. Yeah, we're, we're, I, I want to get out. So this right here is 3D printed droid. All of the lines have been sanded out almost – there's maybe – 5% of the lines back of this whole droid. But I'm going to tell you guys what's so crazy is a lot of the stuff nowadays that is getting 3D printed is it, it, you can get small things without a lot of 3D printing yeah. lines and, and the mm -hmm. details, right, Jens? Yeah. So because of that, you can create things that could have never been created before. Exactly. Not right. Yeah. Exactly, okay. yeah. Like yeah, I, love, I love it. I, love, I wish I knew the 3D printing myself. Where do you have like, my, He's about to go order some stuff. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> People are in. I'm telling you that top top having Java and then underneath the Rancor. Yes. I guarantee you that will be a top. We're set. gonna make it for sure. Okay. Okay. I have. Yeah, Java I'm gonna be the first one. I will be the first one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I've got him. I've got my Rancor sitting out by him up here, and it looks like crap. Dude, yeah, I mean, you need you need the cave, man. You just need it. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gabe is really good at spending my money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how cool this is. I love that. Gabe, you're familiar with Salacious, right? Why yeah, not? yeah. And we're gonna be having a a couple couple, I say, a couple of episodes coming up that are going to be very interesting showing the full life-size Regal Robot um, Salacious that we're lucky enough to get it a little earlier than than most. So keep an eye out. Um, so look at this. Beautiful. Even the little details, right? That's like the one that they hit their head, right? Chewy hits his head going down. Is that the same little, little wind chime thing? 
uh, this yeah 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 this is yeah similar right like in the Jabba's palace mm -hmm. beautiful man I'm so excited seeing your stuff buddy thank you so I could tell right there that's inside of a detox right that it's the side right there. There. so you could so you could just do essentially the backs right like or the, is it the back and the floor it's a back wall and it's up yeah in the floor yeah gotcha mm. got it I love that. Look at this one. Ah, oh, I love that. Look how cool that is. Okay. And I just, I just okay. look, look at how the weathering. I, I look, <laughs> Jens. You, I mean, my hats off to you. This looks real. Like it looks like real rock, like stone. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. Sorry if I'm kind of unprofessional, Yens. I just want you to know I'm this kind of stuff really excites me, man. Just, yeah. <laughs> I, sometimes we get like that, Yens. We get like like little kids in a candy store. We're like, oh my god, we gotta have that. Yeah, so, awesome. <laughs> look so at that. We, oh, I know, dude. That dude. You know what that is, Gabe? Is it the con? Is it the concept? It's, it's, it's in. It, tell me if I'm. It's in. Isn't it in his? When he's playing with his thing, it's in the background, isn't it? Or is that yeah. just the one that gets by? It's also seen in Moss Ice Leaf, just yes. for a couple of seconds. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, in the new edition, but in the original, in, isn't it? In the, in the original, in the original, yeah. Yeah, you and see the front, of, the front of it. Wow, that thing's huge. Is that yours? Yes, I, I made it for the exhibition. And uh, the 3D model was designed by Easy Mail. You know, maybe you know this guy. Yeah, I, I don't. What about the Bantha? Did was did, I saw the, that being in the works? Did somebody else do the Bantha? Yes, there was a guy from Germany. But, yeah, I forgot his name, but yes, he did the Bantha, and it uh, looks pretty awesome. So, for some of those people that don't know that, when we talk about Outpost One and Yen's work doing the the details of Moss Eisley, which is a lot of work. A lot of people might not know, but in Outpost One, somebody has created a six scale Slave One and a six scale, like the Hot Toys version, but I think a lot more detail of yeah. the Millennium Falcon, correct? Falcon, yeah. And these were created by Graham Scott. Is he located over there in Europe? Yes, uh, yeah, he's located in UK. Okay. Yeah, and he no, did this awesome. Yeah, slave one is freaking awesome. slave huge. one and the falcon. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah. Need, you need to come. You need to come. Hey, you recognize this guy? This is there's Matt for you Matt. right there. Hey, Matt, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Easy Mail is a fantastic 3D artist. Yes, that's right. Harry. Yeah, Matt's like his weathering application. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And then yeah, Izzy. Beautiful. I I just love these. Oh man, look! At, I mean, I'm sorry, but just look at that right there. Look at the little details, like the little fruit and like the little tray. That's yeah, that's my, the latest that's diorama cool. which I which I created. Yeah. Oh, you got even the tauntaun in the back, just like Java's palace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. That is so cool. Oh, nice. When they're taking C3PO right to the dungeon. Yeah. It's like it's Java's prison, yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, good, dude. I, I, I made two versions of it. Yeah. And one version is with a tentacle coming out and of it. With that. Oh, very cool. Is there that is. what didn't Sideshow do one similar? Um, that no, I don't know. Didn't they? Did Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Look at that. That's really cool. And again, you, you're saying most of these that we're seeing are designed to fit in a detolf, right? So just so people yes. watching can kind of get the, the scale of it. Yeah, most of the stuff is for detolf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hey, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Holy crap, that's beautiful. these are for, these are smaller, right? Or this is yeah, these are the three. Yeah, when we started, we uh, created lots of stuff for yeah, three point seven five inch. Yes, and you still do that, right? If somebody wants it for their figures, you'll if still somebody do that. wants it. Yes, they can do it. No problem. 
Gotcha. We, we have a lot of practice with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and I love the action figures. That's where Thank it all started. Look at this one. Look at that. Yeah, this is a six scale. Oh, wow. That must be huge. Yeah. It's yeah. Huge. And it's also for the most Isley uh, six scale hole. So on the, moisture, on the moisture evaporators, you'll sell just the moisture evaporators by themselves. Do they light up? Sorry? The moisture evaporators, will, will those light up? Do those light ah, up? Yes, yes, yes. I have one in the back that's, uh, yeah, that's also 3D printed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful weathering. And then you had this one, which I could see the, the docking bay 94. Yeah. That's a cool little detail. Thank you. Hey, Ian, let's have some fun real quick. Okay, dude. So we got the job. This is what I also I want. Are you listening? <laughs> All right. I want Luke's house, Uncle Owen, Aunt Beru. I want, I want their house where three, you know, where it goes in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that way I can have the land speeder. I want his house right there. That's what I want. I want to do a, a diorama of Luke's where he was raised on, on, uh, Tattooing. That sounds pretty awesome. And you, you want to have it for 3.75 inch? Negative. <laughs> for and six. Six, yeah. So yeah, is that so how would you so this is another question. So how will, do you do this for like people like Matt and for people like me if I want to commission? I really hope my wife's not watching the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, so like the, the ring where where they look down into the you know, he's got you could see that like all the, the white painting where the caves are in, into the, to the dining room, you know, where his living room is, where yeah, they eat or whatever. Yeah. 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 So like where he looks over to the twin sons. So that, that, and then a couple moisture evaporators and then the deal that goes like into the ground. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, chief. Yeah. That would be beautiful. Yeah. Kali, I see that smile. <laughs> he can do it too. He can do so it. How, absolutely. So how will you do that? Jens for somebody that's in the States like me, like, if we commission first the Java, I mean, you know, doing that with the, with the, so do you build it in maybe four pieces and then send it like yeah, that can, like for shipping yeah, or in a container? For example, uh, the Java's Palace, which is in the back. Yes. It, uh, it's in built in three pieces. Okay. And it can be shipped in two cartons, two boxes. Okay. Got it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Very it's, cool. it's doable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here it is. Speaking of, yeah, there it is. Look at that. One. I mean, guys, if you know how big the Jabba six scale sideshow or hot toys piece is, holy crap, that thing is huge right there. Yeah. Look at the little Rontor. Or I mean, I don't know if it's a Rontor. I call it a Rontor because of Galaxy's Edge. But even the little meat cooking in the back. Yeah. <laughs> I love those details. Thank you, dude. Look at that. Are those like 3D printed Jawas right there? Uh, this is actually a Java from Hasbro. Okay. And, yeah, and I weathered him. So I think it, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got the weapons on the wall right there. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a, a 3D print raising model. The weapon, yeah. yeah. Man, it's like at one point I'm just like speechless, just like looking at these things. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the cool details on it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Bro, you need to move to the States immediately. <laughs> yeah. I would love you to live here in Texas, bro. Yeah, I, I would love to be in the yeah. States. I, I should, I think I should, I need to move. I need to move. I know. Come on, brother. But hey, <laughs> trust me, you want to be in Texas, Chief. <laughs> Come on down, buddy. You can get Actually, a lot, a lot I, I have family in the States. I catch you. In, in yeah. California. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that you do, you do some of your business um, collaborations with people in California, I noticed. You had mentioned. Yes. Yes. I love that. I love just the way you set it up to, like, take these pictures. It just, like, gives it – it shows – it puts you in that scene. You know yeah, what I mean? Nothing better, nothing better. So the Java, how how wide as far as you think it's what, like a meter, like three feet wide yeah. about, or 
more more like a meter yeah of, around a meter okay it's about uh, one, 120 centimeters okay so just a little over a meter okay so maybe like three and a half feet four feet yeah. maybe close. yeah i'm looking at that thing it's huge it's funny because i have that same setup with my figures but boring nothing around it <laughs> so there there it is without the figure and look at i mean just like the little pieces of wood you know what i mean that those little details honestly is what gives it gives so much character to these yeah i love it hey Jens, let me ask you so if, if one of our viewers are are interested in in purchasing a detoff and i know everyone is different and depends on your how busy you are but typically what's a time frame if i was to say hey like this this one right here um that's on the screen yeah the time frame for creating uh, this it's uh two weeks approximately so to get something realistically you can have something in four to six weeks so no problem yes it's no problem yeah oh, awesome have you had a problem with shipping to the states or not really i just uh, had a problem uh during the COVID. Yeah. because it took longer and to, to, because there was not so many flights but, uh, now there's no problem and also no damages good no. yeah um jens is this life size that we're seeing here or no yes uh, this is a life size helmet from black series oh wow. and you i want to buy it. nice yeah, I did some weathering on it and make this cut. Yeah, perfect. I have perfect. also a video on my TikTok channel, mm -hmm. and there you see uh, how 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 I did this. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, and we'll, we'll send we'll send everyone your way to all your social media. Let's let's. I want to show people your website too. Let me okay. um, let's jump on the website so we could kind of you know navigate through that so people know exactly where to go to. To purchase your your stuff so let's throw that up on there you go so it's legacyarts.de right that's that's right. the website and here you could kind of see most of his offerings but you said right you you could work with a collector to do a custom sure. diorama if someone has any ideas, feel free to contact me and yeah, send me your ideas and you know, we can work it out. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, Matt said that yes, from the order, he had a shipment to his house within less than two weeks. It's not typical all the time, but yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so Matt's got yeah, Matt's gotten a couple of things from you, right? Yeah. Hasn't didn't hasn't Joseph also or no? I I could have sworn that maybe Joseph might have said he picked up something. I'm not sure from you know, he, he's got a lot from the Jazz Inc. guys, but I don't think I don't <laughs> he might have recently, I'm not quite sure. Like it, I have 40 different ideas, Jens. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I feel you. I, I feel like our, our watchers are going to keep you busy for for yeah, a little Matt, while. Matt needs to not be selfish. You know, I don't have anything yet, so be quiet, Matt. You already have <laughs> yeah. so, so, like Greg was saying on the detox, they are hard. To, I, since I talked to Gabe about the way he set up his beautiful displays in the back, um, I haven't been, everything seems to be back ordered, you know, when it comes to that type of stuff. Yeah, the IKEA stuff seems to be. Yeah, look at that. The details. Okay, so you could order. So you could order the smaller pieces individually, right? To dress, yeah. dress a set. Yeah, you can order the small pieces, and then the customers. I gave them the chance to create their own. Their Good own. For you, uh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. That's we, all have to learn, we all have to learn from somewhere, right? It's <laughs> well, and and it's smart because, like, yeah, you're right. Like some people might say, you know what, I want. I want the gray the gray squares instead of the white squares. I want two of these, you know, buckets instead of yeah. And so it I look at that the little toolbox. I love that. Look at that, Michael. You see that? Oh, a gunk droid. Look at that. Oh, very cool. Oh, the, these little squares. You, you actually see them all around Galaxy's Edge too. Like they're everywhere. Fly. 
generators. Yeah. Have you been to Galaxy's Edge, Jens? Uh, not yet, but I would love. I would love to go there. So, are you going to be going to Star Wars Celebration? Yes, this the Star Wars Celebration. It was uh, but here in Germany in in 2013. Okay, wow. It so, was, the one that's going to come to the states in the U.S. It's supposed to be here next May. Do you plan on coming? Yeah, I need to come for sure, man. Yeah. We got a lot to talk about about that. All right. Perfect. So, okay. So guys, you know, his website, you go in here. Um, I'm going to put up all his contact information to, um, you know, there's, I'll, I'll post it up right now, but you know, here's his, his story. Yeah, a little story. And then you, you said you, you started your own, right. You have a YouTube channel as well, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll, I'll post that in a second. Give me a great Second, so here you could you could contact. Yeah, what's what is what is your preferred method for people to contact you? Yeah, they contact me through my website, or they can they can talk, contact me through Facebook, Instagram, no matter. Okay, it's a, it's all okay. it's all no okay. problem. We have so I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put up all of your your contact information for everybody, so they can see. So. You could contact them, WhatsApp, right? Email, obviously the website, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. You're you're on all of them. So <laughs> it, he's, not, he, he's not hard. Yeah, he's like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> not, not hard to, to get a get a uh, hold of. If you want to get a hold of me, you got to get a hold of Gabe. Period. <laughs> Oh, here, look at here. We're talking about IKEA. Somebody said that they blame me for it because that video I did with all the IKEA stuff. Yeah, <laughs> IKEA owes me big. They do. They really do. <laughs> hey, Gabe, you remember that time I went to IKEA and I'm calling you on the phone? You're like, you're handling like a murder case or something, and, you're like, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get these which so which yeah, exactly? I, I, I was. I was in court that day. Yeah, but you know what? You took the time. You know, he might have got the electric chair or, or you know, whatever. But <laughs> you took the time to help your Star Wars buddy, dude. Yeah, I that's love funny, man. So let me, I'm going to, we're going to go to your um, your YouTube page. So that way, if you guys are not following him on YouTube, and if you're not following us, obviously, subscribe to our channel and subscribe to his channel. And um, you can kind of see, you know, everything going on. Look at it. He's got a, a link for uh, our show on his on his channel. So You're cool. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. And a bunch of dioramas, all the, the process and all that stuff. So definitely mm -hmm. sign on and subscribe. Um, beautiful. Yeah. And look at Matt again, Matt has nothing but good things to say about you, Jens. And and honestly, so do we. Like, just in in the short time that we've been talking and getting to, you just seem like such a great, you know, nice person to work with. And I, I'm sure you're gonna be seeing a lot of our our viewers <laughs> in the near future hitting you up for some of these things. Thank you, man. Yeah, it was a big pleasure for me, and yeah, had a really good time with you. And you guys are awesome. I love what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jens. Thank you. Um, is there anything else that we, we kind of missed that you wanted to, to mention? No, I think you, you, we have, we have it all. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So any, any, um, future plans as far as like, what's your next, what's the next big thing? Like, what are you, what are you working on next? The Rancor cave. Top of the Rancor cave. <laughs> yeah. There you go. It's a done. <laughs> It's a done deal, Michael. You're that, um, and I'm telling right, you. Right when we go, well, right when we go, we stop live. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna stop right on time today. We're gonna right at the hour. <laughs> it's hard to believe. It's hey, I want you to know, Jens. It's this is major respect for you because it's freaking early in the morning, bro. And yeah. for you to take the time, I understand it's your business, and we're plugging your business, but we're plugging something that's badass. You do a fantastic job. You're super classy. And, you know, there's so many people out there that don't know about this type of stuff, you know, and and we want to put it out there for our, our fans and our viewers 
say, hey, look, this is available for you. You know yeah. what I mean? There is an unbelievable market. people want this type of yeah. stuff. There's yeah. a big market for this stuff. It's a big market. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to thank you guys for, for the support. And I really appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. Not a and, problem. Ben. Yeah. I want to thank Matt. He helped me with, um, to, to, to uh, get into the show. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It, our, our pleasure. And like I said, we, we appreciate the, the love that you put into your work, right? Because like I said, you could easily just kind of do, you know, some rocks and stuff like that, but you go that extra step, that extra yeah. details. And I'm telling you, us Star Wars fans, that's what we're about. We love the little details we're, you know, and I, I thank you again for, for staying up and, you know, again, it's almost five in the morning for you. And I, we appreciate it so much that you, you it took was it. Plan. It was a plan. Yeah. Are All you right. drinking lots of monsters, dude? Cause it looks like you're, you're nine o'clock. Energy night, drinks. Right? You don't, yeah. You do yeah, energies or what? I took some coffee. Okay. <laughs> hey, so, so next time Jens, we'll have Matt on the show as well. Mm -hmm. And cause we'd like to definitely have you back on the show again and we yeah. can, you know, do, you know, anytime you have something new that you want to show or whatever, we'll yeah. be happy to update on the channel, show our viewers what you got coming. And, yeah, and we have every like, day we, we have some new stuff. So yeah. there's a, a lot of stuff to show. Sounds Absolutely. good. Well, hey, thank so before, you. Yeah. before, I'm sorry, Gabe. So no, before no. We, 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 we let you go, I just to not necessarily plug the outpost guys, but what, what is their situation right now where if somebody wants to come and see Yen's work, which is at Outpost One. What, what, when are they open yet, or what's what's their plan to show future people? Because it's kind of a mystery to a lot of people. Yes, it's it's open, so okay. visitors can come. It, the exhibition is open. Okay. And uh, if someone wants to see the uh, six scale hall, it's also yeah they they might get a chance to have to have a look at it. It's it's uh, it's still in the pro in the process. Yeah. It's planned to be ready, and uh, I think in spring next year, it's going so to be ready. The, how is this working, Jens? Sorry to cut you off. Is, is this like they charge like a fee, like twenty five bucks or something to get in? How does that work? Uh, you mean how the commission? Yes, exactly. So, so for example, the owner that what is he getting out of this? What is he doing this just for the fans? Is so like if I if if me and Gabe fly over over there to Germany to go visit outpost one. Um, what is it? Does he charge a, like a fee to get in to see, I mean, what is he getting out of all of this? He, he is, he is doing this uh, mostly uh, because of his passion. Okay. So he has a lot of passion and he's a really great guy. Yeah. And also I want to thank Mark for giving me the chance to being a part of this uh, awesome project. Yeah. Here. We would actually like to get, yeah. um, we don't mind, Get a hold of Mark for us because I reached out. I, he reached out to me yeah. on what, my personal channel, yeah. but I would love to have it. Go ahead. Yeah, and we'll we'll talk about it a little bit once we yeah. we log off right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Jens, if you wouldn't mind just hanging tight, just a, a quick second, um, and uh, just so we could chat a little bit right after this this show, okay? Right. Okay. Hang tight, just one second. All right. So. All right, guys. So thank you everybody for watching Jens again. That's some amazing stuff guys really quick. Just a quick, you know, update. So next week we have a, an awesome show lined up, right? We're going to yep. have um, Mr. Tom Spina join yep. us on Saturday um, to talk about some of the new releases and obviously the, the salacious crumb. Um, hopefully we'll have it by then. We might not. The shipping process might be a little, little iffy. Yeah. But the week after, we're going to have some amazing industry guests yeah. that worked on Return of the Jet. Well, just trust us. You're not going to want to miss the next few episodes, guys. So, yes. And also, again, for you studio scale lovers, we've got Mr. Mark Elkins that we're going to be doing our recording this yeah. week and show his beautiful collection. Right. He's not just a fantastic, yep. you know, studio scale builder, but he's an incredible collector of all of the stuff that we love. So. And then to top off the month, like I mentioned on the 28th, Michael and I will be at Disneyland Galaxy's Edge meeting up with 
Lee, with Joseph, with Sean, with David. It's just going to be a, an awesome time. We'll probably do a short live video, hopefully, yes. right, Michael, yes. from Galaxy yeah. Edge. I was going to bring that up. Yeah, we got to do something. We're, just we'll say hello to all of our viewers and whatnot. And yeah. So we'll know. do something, guys. So, again, the next couple of Saturdays, free them up because there's definitely going to be some, some exciting shows coming up. All right? Yes, so sure. thank you again, guys. Um, Michael, any last words? I uh, love the viewers. You know, keep, keep, keep the love and the passion of collecting. Uh, wow. You know, Gabe and I love you guys so much. For, and every, every week we just are continuing to grow the channel and are just having such a good time meeting, you know, friends and, yeah. and collecting, man. Just, yeah. Yeah. All man. right. Thank you so much, guys, for your Saturday. You guys have a great night. Good night, guys. We'll see you soon.